Hi everyone, let's create some unique graphics using Canva. Some of the elements that I'm sharing with you in this project will require pro elements from Canva. So if you would like to have a trial version of Canva, please uh, click on the link in the description box below. Let's start by creating a design. I'm going to create a kids t-shirt design. So let's choose 4,500 by 5,400 custom size. Once the workspace is set up, we are going to choose some elements that are that we can design for kids. Uh, I want to use a strawberry as my main element for this project. Uh, so I will go to elements and I'm going to type in strawberry and find the strawberries that I want to work with. strawberries I want to add some character to these so I'm going to go to the search bar and type in cartoon eyes here you will find lots of expressions that you can use for a kids design okay so I'm going to choose some uh, that are appropriate so you can scale it and rotate it and place it on the strawberries individually I want to use the same expression for two of the strawberries and another one for the third one in the group here. I want to flip this so that uh, it looks as if these two strawberries are looking at each other or maybe they are passing a command on the third strawberry. Okay, and I want to give a different expression to the, the other strawberry. Maybe like it is enjoying itself or be something that is cute okay let's just scroll down a little bit and find something okay this one the tongue sticking out looks cute so let's use that for the third strawberry i'm going to resize and rotate it so that it fits nicely on the as a face all right okay now it looks cute okay i have another strawberry over here i'm going to choose choose something that is scary or maybe angry and I want to use that as a separate uh, design so I'm just going to place it over and I'm going to shift the strawberry to another page so that I can work on it as a separate design altogether I want to keep this group of three strawberries as one design and the single strawberry as another design okay so I'm going to choose this I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it on another page that's done so let's work on this uh, group of strawberries over here now I want to add some more uh, elements to it I want to add a rainbow because kids uh, design we want it to be happy colorful so I'm going to choose uh, some filters over here I'm going to choose static and pro okay and uh, let's scroll down there are so many so many rainbows over here sometimes it gets really confusing you know which one you want to use okay so let's scroll down a little bit more and see Okay, I think this simple rainbow is good enough. Let's use that. Yes, this one. Okay, let's resize it and maybe send it to the back so that the, it looks as if the three strawberries are sitting in front of the rainbow enjoying themselves or having a conversation. Okay, this looks like a kid's design already, so I'll just arrange the rainbow a little bit. Uh, maybe I want to add some text over here also, but um, let's see. Okay, this looks cute. I want to add some text. Uh, okay, I'm going to word it maybe um, weird but cute. That would be a nice caption for a kid's design weird but cute and I want to choose a font that is a kiddie 
one that is funny or fun okay um, I have shown in my previous videos how you can upload your own fonts uh, to Canva so if you have no idea please uh, do feel free to check them out I will leave a link in the description box below or you can just click on the i button on top here most of my fonts I have uh, uploaded uh, for myself I have used uh, various platforms I have, I have license to use them commercially so I, I prefer to use them rather than regular Canva fonts uh, which everybody have access to now that we have our font I don't want to keep it as it is or just change the color I want to add some character to, to my font as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a uh, weird but cute uh, caption into a clipping mask uh, I have an entire video on how you can get it done I'm going to leave a link in the description box below or you can click on the i button above so basically we're just going to create a clipping mask out of this text so that we can add some colorful background or unique design uh, onto it basically the idea is to make sure that uh, this uh, design of yours is um, unique in some way that is to you so that you know if uh, somebody wants to recreate it also they will have to you know like uh, really figure out what you have done so we are going to go to photobee.com and uh, uh, do the things that we're supposed to do to clear, create a clipping mask so i'm just going to fast forward this bit and uh, do, uh, do do check out the video on how to create a clipping mask i have a few videos how you can do it with a font how you can do it with the pictures and stuff so uh, that will be a very fun video to watch so do do check them out Okay, here I am trying out various backgrounds. I just want to make sure it fits with the design. I'm playing around with it and I've chosen this as my background as well and uh, I'm going to resize this and expand this okay, I'm going to scale this up okay, I'm going to copy this and put it on our design here Okay, let's arrange this onto the design basically you get the idea what we're trying to achieve over here is to get the Canva elements uh, that are boring and make them into a vibrant piece of work let's work on the second strawberry design okay this is basically I'm just going to scale it up like make it really really big and add some background to it okay. you can group them if you don't want to keep uh, choosing them or you know, highlighting them okay so this is big enough so I'm just going to choose some background for this go to elements I'm going to type in Glitter. Uh, glitter is good okay this is good okay we can just scale this up also and send it to the back this looks good enough but I want to send it to the back so that it, uh, it is like a background 
as a token of appreciation for staying with me for so long i would like to share with you a bonus i would like to share with you a canva link where i have collated a lot of uh, expressions uh, that are available uh, within canva so that uh, you it will be easier for you to use in your projects you don't have to go and uh, keep looking for uh, different uh, uh, expressions so i have uh, done that work for you and uh, you will be able to use them it is a free link so anyone can actually use it so feel free to share the link also if you feel that someone else would uh, be able to benefit from this basically you can just click on the free link go inside and just scroll down add a page and uh, use the element or picture that you want to add the expression to i'm using a potato as an example to show you over here just choose anything and uh, once you have it just scroll up and find the expression that you want to use just copy it you can use the command c or control c and then control v or command v and you paste it on your current project like a current page and then um, adjust and scale accordingly and there you have your very own character so uh, it's very simple to use uh, do share it if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye bye